In this video, we're going to be taking a look at an example of a layout for a course catalog template. To get started, we're going to go to the theme builder. We'll say add new. And we want to create an archive template and we'll name it course archive and say create template. So we can go ahead and add a heading. We can style it to fit our site. And we'll change it to an H1. And let's go back to our widgets and scroll down and we'll see the section for Lifter LMS. And the one we're interested in is the course list widget. This widget is used to list all of your courses for your course catalog. You can see one of them is showing up in a little card right here. And it looks a little bit different than the default Lifter LMS look. If you go over here where it says render, you can actually switch between the Lifter LMS default look and the new Lifter Elements render. The Lifter Elements render gives you a lot more control over what your course cards look like. We can also select how many columns there are in the row. I'll leave it at three. You can set equal heights with the height slider here. And you can also set a minimum height. Under the content section, you can set filters and rules based on which courses you want to display in this layout. You can show courses based on a certain category and you can show and hide hidden courses. Now, I actually have three courses set up inside of Lifter LMS, and the reason only one of these is showing up because I'm only enrolled in this one course. And you can see under filters, it says show all enrolled courses. If we want this to show all the courses all the time, we can select none, and you can see my other courses have popped up. There are some other rules too here as well, based on your needs for your website. Here you can order it by ascending or descending, and this is based on what you select in the order by section. Right now it's ordering it by title, you can order it by author, or by random, and if you want to limit how many posts per page there are, you can set that here. Negative one is default and shows all of your courses on one page. Now this custom template section is what gets really interesting. This section only shows up if your render is set to lifter elements render. This is like a little builder for your course cards. You can see the video or image is on top, then the title, then the progress bar, and the price. We can't see the price right now, but I'll explain that in a moment. If you want to change the order of these, you can just drag and drop them like that, and they'll reorder just like that. You can also duplicate items by clicking this, and you can delete them by clicking the X. If you want to add an item, at the bottom here you click add item, and under the element type, this is what lets you choose which element you want to display. So maybe we'll display a course link. And all of these items have their own little options that you can tweak such as the HTML tag for the title, progress bar height, showing the progress percentage or steps next to the progress bar, and under price, you can see that our prices are not showing up. The reason for this is because the plan that's being displayed is the first featured plan, and I don't actually have a featured plan set up on any of these courses. So if you want to change that, you can just click first plan, and there you go, my prices are showing up. You can also change the output style of the price, whether or not you want to show the price or the frequency or both based on how you have your prices set up in Lifter LMS. Under link, we can actually change this to a button. We can add our own custom text. We can add an icon and change the positioning of it and even the hover state. In order to have more control over the style of all these elements, you can go up here to style and you have tons of options to edit the styling of your course cards. For example, a background color, border radius, maybe a little box shadow, and you can change all the typography styling like you normally can in an Elementor widget. We'll add some color, maybe decrease the size a little, change the price color, and then some of the items have their own styling options, like the color of the progress bar, the button color. And just like that, we have a great looking course catalog template that matches our website. To apply it, we'll go down here next to publish, click the arrow, click display conditions, add a condition, and we'll say course archive, and save and close. Now let's go take a look at it. And there we are, a template is applied to our course catalog page. Of course, there's so much more you can do with this plugin, 
but at least this will give you a good start with the course list widget, which is a pretty essential part of your course catalog page.